Hello. This is this is Miss Payne and her cat Spell. I'm introducing you to her because I know that she's going to be interrupting us several times because she's struggling. This week is very hard for her. She's needy. Yes, I think we're all struggling. That's my girl. This is my beautiful girl. Anyhow, I'm going to get put you down. Okay? Okay. See you later. So I'm going to read to you. I've got my alligator toy, which will make, lot, it will make lots of sense in a few minutes why this alligator is here. And I have my, my teacup ready to go. We're going to sit and read a story that I loved when I was a little girl. A Bargain for Francis by Russell Hoban. And this is his story, his copyright. I am just reading for children. That is it. All right, so here we go. Are we ready? Here we go. It was a fine summer day, and after breakfast, Francis said, I am going to play with Velma. Be careful, said Mother. Why do I have to be careful, said Francis. Remember the last time, said Mother. Which time was that, said Francis. That was the time you, you played catch with Thelma with her new boomerang, said Mother. Thelma did all the throwing and you came home with lumps on your head. I remember that time now, said Francis. And do you remember the other time last winter, said Mother. I remember that time too, said Francis. That was the first time there was ice on the pond. Thelma wanted to go skating, and she told me to try the ice first. Who came home wet, said Mother? You or Thelma? I came home wet, said Francis. <coughs> yes, said Mother. That is why I say be careful, because when you play with Thelma, you always get the worst of it. Well, said Francis, this time I do not have to be careful. We are not playing with boomerangs. We are not skating. We are having a tea party. We are making a mud cake. Be careful anyhow, said Mother. All right, said Francis. Francis took her dolls to Thelma's house. She took her alligator doll and her elephant doll, and her snake doll, and her teddy bear, too. As Frances walked to Thelma's house, she sang, Alligators, bears, and me are all fond of drinking tea. The elephant and the wiggly snake are happy when they eat their cake. Frances and Thelma made a mud cake. They put daisies on it for frosting, then Thelma got out her dolls and her tea set. I'm saving up for a tea set, said Francis. I am saving all my allowances. This is the best kind to get, said Thelma. It is plastic and it has red flowers on it. That is not the kind I want, said Francis. I want a real china tea set with pictures on it in blue. The tea set I want has trees and birds and a Chinese house and a fence, and a boat, and people walking on a bridge. I used to have that kind of tea set, but all I have now is part of a teapot. The rest is broken. That is why that kind of tea set is no good, said Thelma. The cups break, and the saucers break, and the teapot, and the cream pitcher, and the sugar bowl break, and then the set is all gone. My tea set has red flowers, and it does not break unless you step on it. Well, said Francis, I am saving up for the other kind. How much have you saved up, said Thelma? Two dollars and seventeen cents, said Francis. How much does the tea set cost, said Thelma? I don't know, said Francis. I'm sure they cost a lot, said Thelma. It will take you a long time to save up all that money. 
I know Sir Francis, and I wish I had a tea set now. Maybe I will sell you mine, said Thelma. I don't want yours, said Francis. I want a real china one with pictures on it in blue. I don't think they make them anymore, said Thelma. I know another girl who saved up for that tea set. Her mother went to every store and could not find one. Then that girl lost some of her money and spent the rest on candy. She never got the tea set. That is what happens. A lot of girls never do get tea sets, so maybe you won't get one. If I buy yours, I will have a tea set, said Francis. You said you didn't want it, said Thelma, and anyhow, I don't want to sell it now. Why not, said Francis. Well, said Thelma, it is a very good tea set. It is plastic that does not break. It has pretty red flowers on it. It has all the cups and saucers. It has a sugar bowl and the cream pitcher and the teapot. It is almost new, and I think it costs a lot of money. I have $2.17, said Francis. That's a lot of money. I don't know, said Thelma. If I sell you my tea set, then I won't have one anymore. We can have tea parties at my house then, said Francis. And you can use the money for a new doll. Well, maybe, said Thelma. Do you have your money with you? I'll run home for it, said Francis. All right, said Thelma. I will think about it while you run home for your money. Frances ran home for her money. When she came back, Fran when she came back, Thelma said, "I will sell you my tea set." Frances gave Thelma her money. Thelma gave Frances her tea set. No backsies, said Thelma. All right, said Frances. No backsies. Frances went home with her tea set and her dolls, and she sang, "A plastic pot can pour the tea." For my dolls and friends and me, just as well as China. Red is just as good as blue. Plastic cups are all right, too. Just as good as China. When Frances got home, she showed the tea set to her little sister, Gloria. That is a very ugly little tea set, said Gloria. What is the matter with it, said Frances. It's ugly, said Gloria. It's a nice tea set, said Francis. It's plastic, said Gloria. It has red flowers. It's ugly. I like the china kind with the pictures all in blue. You can't get that kind anymore, said Francis. They don't have them in the stores. Yes, they do, said Gloria. They have them now at the candy store. My friend Ida got one yesterday, and she showed it to Thelma. So Thelma knows they have them at the candy store. They cost $2.07. Frances walked slowly to the candy store. She looked inside, and there was Thelma. Thelma gave the storekeeper her money. The storekeeper gave Thelma a china tea set with pictures all in blue. Thelma did not see Frances as Frances walked away. Frances sang a little song as she walked away. Now that plastic's what I've got. Baxies are what there is not. Mother told me not to be careful, but Thelma better, better be wearful. Frances, oh, picture, sorry. Frances thought about no backsies all the way home. When she got home, she put a penny in the plastic sugar bowl of her tea set. Then she called Thelma on the telephone. Hello, said Thelma. Hello, said Frances. This is Frances. Remember, said Thelma, no backsies. I remember, said Frances. But are you sure you really want no backsies? Sure, I'm sure, said Thelma. You mean I never have to give back the tea set, said Francis. 
That's right, said Thelma. You can keep the tea set. Can I keep what's in the sugar bowl, too, said Francis. What is in the sugar bowl, said Thelma. Never mind, said Francis. No backsies. Goodbye. Francis hung up. Oh, cheers. Francis waited for the telephone to ring, and when it rang, she said, Hello. Hello, said Thelma. This is Thelma. I know, said Francis. I just remembered, said Thelma. I think I had something in the sugar bowl. I think it was a ring. Did you find a ring? No, said Francis. And I don't have to tell you what is in the sugar bowl because you said no backsies. Well, said Thelma, I just remembered that I put some money in the sugar bowl one time. I think it was some birthday money. I think it was $2 or maybe it was $5. Did you find money? You said no, Baxi, said Francis, so I don't have to tell you. I don't have to say how much money was in the sugar bowl. Well, said Thelma, it is my money and I want it. Do you want Baxi's, said Francis? Do you want your tea set back and you will give my money back? can't, said Thelma, because I used the money for a new tea set. There's only a dime left over. I will give you the new tea set and the dime. The new tea set is the china kind you want. It has pictures all in blue. You said they don't make that kind anymore, said Francis. This one was very hard to find, said Thelma, and I think it was the very last one in the store. All right, said Francis. Bring it over. Thelma brought over the china tea set and the dime, and Francis gave back the plastic tea set. Then Thelma took the lid off the sugar bowl and saw the penny. That is not a very nice trick to play on a friend, said Thelma. No, said Francis, it is not, and that was not a nice trick you played on me when you sold me your tea set. Well, said Thelma, from now on, I will have to be careful when I play with you. Being careful is not as much fun as being friends, said Francis. Do you want to be careful, or do you want to be friends? I want to be friends, said Thelma. All right, said Francis, then I will give you halvesies on the dime. Francis and Thelma went to the candy store with the dime. Francis bought bubblegum and Thelma bought lifesavers. Then they went back to Francis' house to skip rope. Gloria came out, too, to turn the rope and skip, too. You and Gloria can skip first, said Francis to Thelma. I will go last. Thelma skipped first, then Gloria. Then Francis skipped, and she sang. One for plastic, two for china, three for yours, and four for mina. Five for tea and six for cakes, seven for elephants, eight for snakes, nine's a trip to the candy store, then comes ten and ten skips more, Baxies one, Baxies two, Baxies are no fun to do, careful once, careful twice, being careful isn't nice, being friends is better. Then Francis and Thelma shared their bubble gum and their lifesavers with glory. That's the end of our story. So, maybe now would be a good time to go outside and do a little jump rope. I don't know if you know any songs for jump rope. You can probably find some on YouTube if you want. But that would be a fun thing to do. Or you can, you can join me in a tea party. Get yourself some tea, hot or cold, it doesn't matter. Tea is really good nowadays. It's good for your lungs. Keep them open. Hot tea is better. 
with lemon. Lots and lots of lemon. Okay? Anyway, love you guys. Mwah.